Mac OS Launchpad, how to get the most out of it. Welcome back to the channel. If you've watched my channel before, you know a couple things. I started my channel a number of years ago and I did a lot of tutorials on how to use Mac OS, just kind of teaching people how to use some of the special features built into it. And Launchpad built into Mac OS is no different. So I wanna go ahead in this video and teach people how to use it, number one. Not really just use it, obviously that's easy, but some of the kind of hidden tips and tricks that are built into it, like changing the way it looks and all that other kind of stuff. So if you're kind of interested in Launchpad and launching apps on a Mac, but you wanna know those little tricks, Let's get into it. All right, number one, this is a really easy one, but if you come from Windows, you're kind of used to that menu system on the left-hand side that opens up. Everyone's used to that, right? So on a Mac, obviously, if you go down here and you go to Launchpad and you click on Launchpad right here, you're gonna notice that all your apps come up here. And you're, you're familiar with that, I'm guessing. But really, let's say you don't like that and you want just more of a Windows style, it's already built in. So you go down to your dock down here and you kind of hover over Launchpad and click on it and hold it. Just hold it for a second and look what happens. It opens up that Windows style Launchpad. See that? And you can go up here and just click on any of these different apps up in here and launch them. That's really easy. But also, instead of just holding it, you can go in here, you can right click. If you have right click enabled, just right click on it. It's going to open that exact same menu. And I believe there's one other thing you can do here. If you go down here and you hold down control and then click on it, just a normal left hand click, it's going to do the same thing. So really that whole menu system, just like Windows is built in, but you just have to hold it, right click it, or hold down the op or control key, sorry, control key and click it the normal way and it's going to come up and then you get that menu system. Number two, and this isn't really Launchpad. This is something that acts like Launchpad. It's kind of an alternative Launchpad. So let me show you what I mean here. So if you're actually on your, your desktop here, you go down here, you'll see that some people already have it, but if you don't have an applications folder over here on the right-hand side, you can add one and it's gonna show all your apps at once. Let me explain. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down to Finder down here, click on Finder first, all right? Then what you wanna do is go up to Go, and then go down to home right there. You'll see it there. Now in here you have an application. See it over here on the left hand side? At least you should have it over here. If you don't, you can add it to that side, but most people have applications right here and all your applications are in here. Simply just take this over here on the left hand side and drag it all the way down and put it over here on the right side over here on your dock and let it go. Now you're gonna see it's gonna have a weird icon in here. This is actually the last applications icon. If you look over here, it's airy. <laughs> You'll see it there, but it's the last one that you actually have. So you don't, a lot of people don't like that. So what I recommend doing is you wanna right click on this and you wanna go ahead and change a couple things. Change it to folder, see it right there instead of stack. So there you go. So now it's gonna say, it's gonna be an applications folder now and then right click on it again and change it to grid right there, see that? So you right click and change it to grid. Now that you had it all set up, you can just click on this with the left button and it's gonna open up all your apps at once. So instead of do, using Launchpad, um, which is over here, uh, obviously right there, you can go ahead and set this up. And now if you go to the right hand side over here, click on your applications, it's gonna list all your applications in this one folder. And then you can just click on anything and open up any application. Again, it's not actually Launchpad, but it acts very similar to it. Number three is the customization. Again, a lot of people don't like Launchpad because you gotta go down, click on it, you gotta find the app, scroll through. So for example, you gotta go down here, click on it. If you have multiple pages, you gotta kinda scroll through with the scroll wheel and pick the app you want. What I like to do is just set up something really easy. Watch this, here's my cursor. I don't know if you can see it up here. As soon as I move my cursor down to the left, it'll launch, you know, launch pad basically instantly. See that? I just move it down there. Then I can get into apps super quickly if I wanna launch them. So in order to do this, this is just basically mission control. So you go up here to the Apple icon, click on system settings there. You can see it right in here. And then what you wanna do in here, if I can actually find it in here, you wanna go down to, let me see here, desktop and dock right here, see it there? So click on that, scroll all the way down, and then down here is mission control, see it right here? So what you wanna do then is click on hot corners right there, and uh, it's gonna bring up this little window here. So as you can see, I don't have any of the other hot corners enabled, which means if you just scroll up to the corner, it's gonna do some kind of an action. But I like it down kind of in the left-hand side because it's very similar to Windows. So you go ahead and you just click on this if you have nothing in there and just choose Launchpad right there, see that? You can do other things like you can do a quick node, you can do desktop, you can do a whole bunch of stuff, but I like to do Launchpad there. Then I click Done, and then I close this out obviously. So now whenever I'm moving my cursor around, I wanna open an app quickly, I just scroll right down there, look at that, really quickly and it opens up all my apps and I can easily open them super quick. 
All right, the next tip is something a lot of people don't know. So they use, you know, sometimes they use Spotlight to open up apps, but if you go up to Spotlight and you try to type in something, you know, it'll find it, but sometimes it takes a little while because it has to go through all your files and folders and everything else. So one thing a lot of people don't know is if you actually go down here and you just go into, you know, Launchpad, a lot of people think they have to go up here and click on search. See it up there in order to search for an app. So you can search for an app really quickly. Let's say you have multiple pages in here and you, you know, you don't want to scroll through everything. You can search for it. But a lot of people take the time and go up here and click on this. You don't even have to do that. As soon as you're in Launchpad, don't, don't even click on that box. If you type in anything like text, it automatically fills in that box for you and then you can get the text edit really quickly or wherever you want to go. So just keep in mind that when you click on this, you know, obviously when you click on Launchpad, you don't have to click on this box up here. See that? You don't have to do that. If you're off there and you can go like this, you click on this, you just start typing text and see it, it automatically goes up there and uh, you're all set. So I just want to, it's an extra step that a lot of people make, which makes them feel like it's not worth it, but you don't even need to click on that box. You just have to basically click on it and it's fine. Another little tip, it's not that useful, but if you go into Launchpad and let's say you're just, you just went right to the page here, if you click the right arrow instantly, so let's say you don't have an access to a mouse or something, just click the right arrow once and you'll see it lights up the first app on the screen up there. And as soon as you click that one, then you can go up and down with your other arrows and actually, you know, choose any app that you want here. Just click return and it'll open the app. So again, if you're in a situation maybe where you don't have a mouse or something and you launch this or some, some reason, I don't know what it is, but you just want to use the kind of the, the little keys there as far as the arrows, just you have to click the right arrow first like that. It'll highlight the first app and then you can go and scroll through. Very easy. All right, a couple things really quickly. And so when you're in the launch pad screen here, a couple things, if you click, if you just click, basically hold down option. There's a couple of things you can do. First of all, if you hold down option, it's the same as kind of hovering over an app and holding it down for a second, but it's easier just to hold option down. Watch what happens. I hold option down. You'll notice that some of these now show up with X's and I'm still holding option as I'm talking about this. So the ones with X's, if I click on them like this, it'll delete that app, right? And it should delete all the files, at least most of them associated with it. Um, now you're going to notice there's other apps in here that don't have any X's with them. Now that's, that, those are because they're either built into the OS and you can't remove them all together or you downloaded them outside of basically the Apple store. So if you downloaded like some rogue app, you know, not on the Apple store, but you just did it yourself, then it's not going to show up this way. And I have a whole video, check out my old videos. I have a video on how you can delete those. It's a completely different process, but the ones that have X's on, if you just click on the X, it's going to delete that application for you. And as soon as you let go of option, you can see that those X's go away. So that's another way you can delete apps really quickly. But if you notice that they don't have X's, it's because it's built into the OS and you can't delete it or you downloaded it in you know, a different way, not through the app store. And there's another way to delete that, which is a whole nother video I have. So check out my channel. All right, this next one I think everybody knows about, so I'm just going to go through it really quickly. But if you're in, if you know, if you're in Launchpad here, if you just, you know, click on an app but don't let go, click on it, and then you can move it around, obviously. So you can move everything around in here as far as you can move them to different pages. If I take the calculator and I hold it over here for a couple seconds, you're going to see it can go to the other page. I can put it on a whole bunch of different pages here. I release it. There it is. So that's really easy. If I want to combine two apps, I can go like this and just drop it in there. It's going to create a folder like that. So now I have two apps in one folder. You can then click on it and name the folder. Um, you know, you click up here and you can name that folder. See right there. So I can name that whatever I want. If I want to kind of remove this folder, I just drag this back out like that and it's going to remove the folder. So one thing I like to do is on the apps you don't use a lot, I like to put them in folders and I put all the main stuff on my main screen. It's very easy. So that's one tip there, but I think everyone knows that one. All right, this next tip is actually more advanced, but it's something that can help a lot of people out. So stay tuned. It's very easy to do. Don't be afraid of it. Very easy. So if you go into Launchpad, you're going to notice that there's seven columns and only five rows. So you can only show so many apps on each of these pages. But let's say you want 10 and 10, 10 columns, 10 rows, or you want to put all your apps on one page in Launchpad. It's very easy to do, but you got to use Terminal. You can change it right back. So don't, don't get afraid. Watch this. So what you want to do is in Launchpad, if you click on this other box here, you really want to just search for Terminal. See it right there? And you want to open this window up. And I'm going to open this up. So once you have Terminal open, there's a couple commands you got to type in here. So as soon as it opens, you just start typing what I'm going to tell you here. So this has to be case sensitive. You want to do, you want to do defaults just like this, right? Then you want to do space, right? Space com dot apple like that dot doc, just like that space springboard and then a dash then columns. I gotta make sure I'm spelling this correctly. Then space, then a dash, then I N T space. And then I'm going to do 10. So this is going to be 10 columns. You notice I put columns there. So I'm going to make this 10 columns instead of obviously the, the seven that's in there. So I'm going to click enter like that. All right. Now nothing's going to happen. If you check it out, you have to do this next. You have to go back in here and this is case sensitive. The next thing you want to type in is kill and then uppercase A L L. So kill all with that uppercase A and then doc just like that. All right. 
with the with the big D. Click enter. You're gonna notice a little flash there. Now what happens if I go down here back and I go into to Launchpad? Let me go back down in here. So here's Launchpad. You're gonna notice, like, look at this. Now it's got 10 comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Now your other apps are still on this page, but you can take these and drag them into here, so you can fill this whole page up. But you can make them as many rows and columns as you want to in here. See how cool that is. Now if you want to change it back, though, you can go right into Terminal here, and uh, obviously you just you just do the exact same thing I showed you here. Defaults, right? You know this this whole thing. But you change it back to seven, and it'll make the dot go right back to the way it was because it used to have seven by default. Now if you want to do this for the rows, instead of the columns, which is actually right here, just change columns right there to say rows. And then you have to, you know, obviously you choose how many you want with the integer over here. And then you just do kill all doc again. And then once you do that, it'll reset the doc for you. And then it'll give you more rows as well. Then if you want to set them back, you just go back to the normal thing. And, and there it is. So very easy to do. You can change rows and, you know, rows and columns. And you can have as many as you want on the screen. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. So those are some tips and tricks you can use to get a little bit more at launch pad. I think you know most of those before. And I think a lot of people just... They kind of stay away from it because it's cumbersome and you got to go through multiple pages. But when you know some of these tricks and tips, it you know helps you navigate a little bit. And you let me know in the comments. Did this help you? Even if you're an advanced user, did you not know one of these? Hopefully something helped you here. So I like doing some of these videos from time to time because it does help a lot of the people that just are getting into macOS. I know a lot of my viewers aren't, and I but I always think I have one or two things in there that most people don't know. So you tell me in the comments. Did you know them all? Did you not know them all? I'm going to wrap this up, and uh, we just had you know the holidays, and it's just, just ending, I guess. New Year's is coming up, but we'll talk to everybody soon. Again, happy holidays. I guess we're still kind of technically in it, and uh, we'll see in a, maybe a day or two or maybe three days, maybe two to three days I do a video, and uh, I hope you guys like this. Talk to you soon. Peace.